Hiking with other people is hard. At least for me, hiking in a group has always been harder than just hiking alone. Even those in which I have similar styles to, and similar goals, and similar ideas upon what we enjoy. But I think hiking in a group, or hiking as a couple, has the potential for way more fun than just hiking alone. As now you have someone to share those highs with, or share those lows with, someone to complain with, someone to help make decisions, someone to spend time with while in town. I've done the vast majority of my hiking alone. But it's been great, but every so often I get a glimpse of what hiking with someone else would be like. Last year, I got a glimpse of that again on the Pacific Crest Trail. While going through the Sierra, I had the pleasure of meeting and hiking with Sprocket. Spent a few days hiking together, went up Mount Whitney together, I continued on alone after that, but Sprocket and I stayed in touch. Oh no! Oh, no. Danger! Danger. <laughs> after we both finished the Pacific Crest Trail, we got to do a little bit more hiking together. And of course, the wheels turn as to what that would be like hiking together from start to finish on a different long trail. After the PCT, Sprocket went off to hike the Tearoa Trail. It's about 3,000 kilometers across New Zealand. And there she was, hiking along beaches, through beautiful mountains, in the warm summers of New Zealand. So, here I am. I'm in New Zealand. This is just a short trip. I have a flight leaving in about two weeks. But it's a way for me to get a taste of a new place, a new trail, and again, what hiking with a partner would be like. Similar to my other trip around San Diego this year, I figured, although this trip is short, it would be a good opportunity to just try things out. You know, instead of just jumping into a super long trail together, to just see how things go, see what we can learn, and see what we can change for the next time to make it even better. It's that same idea of doing a shorter trail first. So on this trip, it was good to test some old gear out and make sure it's still working properly. Because Sprocket and I later this year are gonna hike the Great Divide Trail together. New Zealand being, I guess, notoriously known for unstable weather, so is the Canadian Rockies. So what better a place to kind of see how things go. But aside from the hiking, aside from the testing and learning, and this was just a fun trip. I've been saying for so many years that I want to travel overseas and, you know, do a big trip in Europe or Asia or... And every year I just put that aside. I never do it, not for even just a brief moment. So, I'm happy that 
Sprocket was here to kind of remind me to do it now. You may never know if you have the chance again. Uh, for many things in life, big travel plans and adventures, relationships or things you want to do, there is no better time than now. And I think you should go for it. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. But you're never going to know if you don't try. So that's what I did here. I went for it. Something I think through hiking has taught me in the past, but not something I've really solidified into thoughts. We're not always gonna be here, and we don't always have that chance. I think I always wanna try and live while I can. So thank you Sprocket for having me for two weeks, for showing me around New Zealand a bit. It was a lot of fun to get to hike with you, even if that hike didn't go exactly as planned. We got to see a lot of cool native birds, including a kiwi at 4 a.m., no more than two meters from our tent on Stewart Island. We got to do a lot of touristy things that I enjoyed, ate a lot of tasty food, saw a lot of cool places together. I look forward to seeing you again later this year in Canada. They are strange birds, very strange. New bird. Bird quest. Thank you.